Welcome to Bunky's Woodworking. In previous two installments, we removed the hot tub, completed plumbing and electric, and installed drywall. Links to those videos are in the description below. This is the third part of our room renovation series, where we're going to finish up and tidy up this room just a little bit better. In order to tidy up this wall, we decided to go with cedar paneling and a chair rail. We had a couple of things to take into consideration for this part. We had the height of the register, also the window had a sill. So we decided on two feet of height for the cedar wall paneling. Here I am cutting the panels to length. After cutting the boards to length, I went ahead and placed them up on the wall with a brad nailer. I also had to consider uh, the area for sockets or vents or anything else that was in the way. Initially we had to put a trim that was exact thickness of the wall paneling so that the chair rail can fit flush and perfectly on the wall. This chair rail is made up of elder. We also had to replace both corner trims. I took measurements and went ahead and cut the elder chair rail into the correct segments. We also put 45 degree angle at the ends of the chair rail to make them fit perfectly at the corners. Then we put a coat of lacquer on the elder chair rail. Now that we got the walls done, let's go ahead and focus on this hole in the ground. We measure the hole to create a plug for it. I cut the plug about an inch wider than the hole. We filled the hole with 3 quarter inch plywood. Then Tim went ahead and set his circular saw to 3 quarter inch depth. Then he went ahead and traced the plug on the floor itself and cut the grooves to fit the plug. Both Aditi and I had racked our brains in order to try to figure out what to do with this floor. We couldn't just leave a patch on it and say that that's good. We wanted to go ahead and do something a little special. We had done a compass rose in the past on another wood project and wanted to replicate that because we really liked the idea. Only the last time when we did it, we used stencil and color. This time we wanted to use a wooden inlay. So we went to ViaCAD in order to make a preliminary sketch. And this is what we came up with. Instead of using the CNC, we decided to cut this out by hand. Our step one was to cut out the template. We first printed out the shapes on a piece of paper, then glued the piece of paper on quarter inch plywood, and then cut that quarter inch plywood to shape making our template. We decided on three types of wood, paduk, cherry, and curly maple that we had on hand. We planed the boards down to prepare them for resaw. We had to make a jig for one of the boards. It was twisted in the middle, so I had to have a flat sled to run it through the planer in order to straighten up one side so I can work with it. After sending the board through a few times, I was happy with the results. Since we didn't have a joiner, we had to flatten one of the edges on the table saw. This allowed us to have a flat edge to run across the panel saw. So I resawed all of the boards to around 3 8 then I ran the boards through the thickness planer one more time so I'd have a nice even finish. And here it is, curly maple, cherry, and paduke. Then we cut these pieces of wood just a little over the size of our templates. Then we went ahead and got closer to the shapes with a belt sander. We had to constantly go back to the sandpaper in order to edge it up to the perfect shape. We made a little assembly line. I would tape two pieces of wood together with double sided tape. Then I would also tape the pattern on top of the wood with the double sided tape. Then Tim would take it to the sander and sand it down to the shape. And finally we placed all the pieces of the puzzle together. And now we go ahead and work on cutting into the floor. 
We made our own jig to cut a circle on the floor. We recorded a video of making this jig, which should be out in the future. After scoring the line around the outside edges, I went ahead and manually moved the router back and forth, cutting into the floor. They really need to make floors hip height. Tim's too big for this job. I place the pieces together and then find true north. Then I trace out the peaks that exceed the circle. Then I set the depth for my circular saw. Then Tim made small passes with the circular saw between the lines that were traced earlier. After taking the bulk of the material out with the saw, I went ahead and went over everything with a chisel. As you are enjoying this beautiful chisel work going on, I just wanted to remind everybody to like and subscribe our content. Also, comment down below what do you think about this project. Please don't forget to check out our social media pages and our Etsy store. And now is the moment of truth. This will answer whether a monkey can put a square peg in a round hole. Yay! It fits! And it looks very pretty. Now we go ahead and take everything out and start the glue up. We use generous amount of tight bond tree glue for this glue up. Everything was perfect in the dry fit, but once we added glue, I needed to beat it into submission. In Bunky's household, the weights are used to hold down the glue up. I thought that's what they were supposed to be for. And now observe the dance of the Bunky. We rented an industrial floor sander in order to try to get this area smoothed out. We picked out the font that we liked for the letters representing North, South, East, West. And then I started engraving out the letters. When engraving letters like this, you really have to go uncomfortably deep, or the letters will not turn out right after coloring. After engraving, we added black color to the letters and then sanded it over. This is how the room turned out before adding any stain. And now we go into stain with a clear gloss coat. See how this looks. more. Oh, look at the, uh... Padook. Oh my god, Padook is so fantastic. Guys, this looks amazing, Tim. Thank you for watching this video. This was a real struggle to get done, and it was a pretty amazing project. I think at the end, all our hard work paid off, and the project turned out just beautiful. Remember to like and subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this project. Thank you very much.